Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode three of my Paladin Arena run. That uh, This is the first Arena run that I am going to be recording on my channel. I've done maybe half a dozen before this one, uh, but I thought, why not? First time I can choose Paladin, so I chose Paladin, made a pretty shit deck, but somehow I've made it to three wins, two losses. So let's jump right into the next game. Again, if you want to win that Hearthstone key, Make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure your subscriptions are public. I'm going to leave a link in the description on how you can do that. It's a YouTube help article. And uh, just leave a comment on this video as well as the other two videos. And a, who knows, maybe there'll be a more, another video. Um, so, you know, just make sure that you're leaving a comment, one per video. And uh, I'm going to pick somebody. Just make sure it's about Hearthstone, anything. Uh, if you think that they should change what fictional character re uh, represents, you know, a class, anything like that, just make sure you leave a comment. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of those two cards and let, I now have to focus, to focus on the game. Somehow I won last game. Somehow I had like three health. Watch the video. It was intense. Turn one, I got no move. So it looks like Frostwolf Grunt is going to be my turn two. And he had no move. So actually, uh, Armani Berserker. Because this means that if he throws out the token, the uh, Silverhand Recruit, he's going to instantly get that Enrage, and he does not want to give that up. So it puts a little bit more pressure on what he can do with this turn. Maybe he'll going to force out an early coin. And what I tell you? Ooh, a Sword of Justice. That's interesting. And this turn, I'm going to throw out the taunt and I'm going to buff up my Armani Berserker by 3 with that Blessing of Might again if I've learned anything from my arena runs especially this one you know be aggressive early always be aggressive so I don't even want to worry about attacking that thing right now you know what actually I'm going to throw a ooh, do I want to waste a true silver champion thing though no I don't I'm going to throw out the Leper Gnome, and I'm actually going to buff him up a little bit. And I'm just going to punch him right in the face. So now I'm up by 12 health. I have a great amount of board uh, board control right now. If he throws out a Consecration, it may ruin my day, but, you know, I'm fine with that. What is he going to do? Clearly he's not going to Consecrate, or else he would have done it before that. Wow, that was a misplay. In my opinion, anyway. That was a misplay. Alright, so... Do I want to hammer of wrath that thing? No, I'm going to choose server champion, kill it. I will lose one health. But, now the board is completely clear. This sort of justice is great. Uh, an epic, it is only 1-5, but... You know, it, it's really meant for when you throw out creatures, and that's not good at all. I know what I'm doing this turn. Ooh, I can't. That's stupid. Okay, what? I was going to punch it and then hammer wrath, but that's not really efficient anymore. Um, so throw out the shield master, as well as a recruit, and I'm going to hang on to my weapon. That really sucked. I thought that I could just do a really efficient trade, but no, it looks like it's going to be a three card. A three card trade. Unless he buffs this, in which case I'm going to cry. All right, so he's going to freeze it. Nice play. All right, that was a really good play by him. So I am going to kill off this Armani Berserker this turn. It's it's too strong right now. It's too much. I just want to get rid of it. So I'm going to throw out the Auctioneer as well as a token. Uh, the reason I took the six damage right there is because I needed to. Uh, he's actually dead this turn if he can't kill everything, but I'm pretty sure he can. Actually, wait. Hammer of Wrath. Unless he can kill off my other two creatures, I think I've won. Yeah, I think I've won this. 
Ooh, nice. Nice with the taunts. What a save. All right. So I'm going to change all health to one. And then I'm going to start trading things off. Okay, so there's some more card draw. Throw out a knife juggler, and then just punch him right in the face. Because now there's no real way that he can trade. Oh, he can trade this. Okay. He can trade off my board, but does he want to is the real question. So things are still going to be traded off. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm going to throw out the knife juggler, acidic swamp ooze, and a recruit and hope that it hits that Argent Squire again. It did. Booyah. Booyah. I'm even going to say sorry for that because that just sucks. 33% chance. All right, so it looks like he's going to try to start canceling stuff off. And right now he's just throwing out everything he has, probably because he knows he's lost, but. All right. So, all right, here's the play. Is this actually the play? Yes. I'm going to heal up a little bit and return that minion to my hand because it is the least effective right now. But he needs to cancel off everything here, I believe, or else he's lost. So he's going to do a little bit of card draw. Hope that he draws something helpful. Let's see here because I can't lose this game. If I lose this game, it's over. Arena run equals done. Pretty sure he can kill off everything that's here. Yeah, he's just gonna have to trade pretty inefficiently. Wow, he just pieced out. He was like, F this, I'm done. Marina's bullshit probably is what he's claiming right now. Oh well. Four wins. Alright. I know I just clapped for myself. Alright, so perfect. Sorry for the quick jump cut there. I needed to grab a drink because I thought I was going to lose that game. No, but seriously, let's jump into the next game here. See what we're able to pull out. Hopefully we'll get another win. I'd love to have this Paladin get up to like eight or nine wins. That would be insane. In freaking insane. Actually, I suppose six or seven wins would probably be more accurate. But uh, let's just see. Come on. Where's the opponent? Bring him on. Bring on my worthy opponent. All right. I bet you won't. So, Mountain Giant. I do have the coin, which will make that a little bit easier to get. But no. I actually want a full redo of my hand. Don't want any of those cards. And I get a pretty nice looking hand, honestly. I have a turn one play without having to exhaust my coin. I am happy right now. So I have a leopard gnome out. I can abusive sergeant next turn. And I can also coin recruit. Alright, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do? How much is it usually? I think it's 12 cost. And it's not going to be really efficient for me to hold on to it, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is just abuse the sergeant, trade it off. And 
and have a little bit on the board, although it's pretty easy to clear off with any kind of removal. All right. All right. I'm going to coin into the shield master and just punch him in the face again. The strategy seems to be working. Punch enemy in the face, win game. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Wow, that was pretty inefficient for him. But I guess he knows that he needs to start, you know, hitting back. All right, so let's see. I'm going to knife juggler, recruit, and then just punch him. Again, that seems to be the strat that all the kids are into. And they have a consecration. So if he throws out a shit ton of stuff and, you know, just tries to scare me off, I have no problem with that. Consecration, boom, done. And now he's killing off a knife juggler with his last charge of his weapon, which sucks. All right, so what's he going to do? Recruit and Arjun Protector. Okay. What do I want to do? Well, I do want to kill that. And... I'm going to throw out the token. Do I want a Blessing of Mind it if I know it's going to die next turn? No. And that's it. I think that's it. I could have Blessing of Minded my token. Got an extra three damage off on him, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to waste it. If he... Wow. This is really inefficient uses of uh, True Silver Champion we're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to token it out. All right, so you know what? I think I may consecrate this. Actually, there's nothing really scary out on the field yet. I'm going to just throw out a token, see if he's going to trade. It'll save me one damage this c coming turn. All right, and I missed what that was. I think it was Divine Favor. Yeah. And if he trades it off, okay. All right, now he's trying to punch back. <coughs> Ugh. Dat sneeze. Okay. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is I'm going to Consecrate and the Peacekeeper. I don't really want to do that, though. So instead, I'm just going to War Golem. I'm perfectly fine with trading the Raging Worgen for... Uh... Actually, he's not, he can't even really kill it that efficiently. But if I can kill off that Raging Worgen, I'm pretty sure I can, you know, just follow this through to the end. Let's see here. What is his play? Another Man, what a lucky bastard getting all those True Silver Champions. And he's going to sacrifice both. He's going to get two cards from it, but he's going to take five damage. I don't know how if I agree with that trade. And, yep, so Mountain Giant, Anacidic Swampoos, just to kill off the last little bit of that weapon. So now I have a really big, another big guy out. Again, it's, uh, I guess this is the strat that you're supposed to play in Arena, is just punch the shit out of people. He's going to get another card draw. This is really efficient use of the Cult Master, actually. And he's going to sacrifice that. He has three mana left. He's And he's going to Imp Master. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to add True Server Champion, Knife Juggler, and I want to save the Peacekeeper for right now. So I'm just going to throw it a Recruit, and if it hits the Imp Master, nope. Okay. 
If I would have hit the Ip Master, I would have used my Acidic Swamp Boost to kill that off, but instead, I'm okay with using that little bit of weapon. I gained one health by actually hitting it, so. Alright, so same circumstance as last time, Acidic Swamp Boost. Consecrate, he's going to clear my board. Not bad. And Dire Wolf Alpha. And Token. Alright, so this is definitely a turn for Consecration. Bop! And Illusory Drake. Just to put it a little bit more pressure on him. And now if I Hammer of Wrath, it's going to be 4 damage. 8 damage with the True Silver Champion. No, I can't because now I just played the... That's not a Legendary. I think it's just a rare, right? Oh, it's just a regular card. Okay. And he chose his own creature. That was interesting. What am I going to do? I'm going to Hammer of Wrath it. Hit it for four. Draw another card. Reduce its attack to one. Bring out a token. Buff it a little bit, maybe? Yeah. And then kill off that Guardian of Kings. So now, again, I have so much board right now. I, I usually don't play Arena this aggressively, and maybe that's why... I'm not doing as good when I play because I, I like to think it's more like constructed and I have a plan, but because I usually play a lot of control in Arena, you just gotta punch bitches in the face. Wow, this guy got so lucky with this Arena. Alright, what's the card? Humility. He should have done that on the Silver Hand Recruit, I think. So I'm going to Equality, and then Defender of Argus, and then start canceling stuff away. Ooh, what was it? When a minion dies, return it to... Ah! Oh! That's really shitty. Okay, nothing too bad though. This basically makes us even almost. But at least he doesn't get to use his Ashbringer before, you know, he's used a couple charges. So now I don't like where I am anymore. Wow. This guy got so fucking lucky with his pulse. <clears throat> This is not good. Bring out a token. And then Blessing of Kings. That. And then punch him. Okay, so now I need to start rushing down. The Peacekeeper is really all I have left. Okay, there's Berserker, and it looks like he's just going to try to trade shit off just to get rid of it. Fair enough. And here comes the Swarm, when you know that you've won. This is really shitty. I think I've lost. God dang it. So many Paladins this time. All right, he's going to buff himself. And then just start to bring on the pain. Bring on the pain train. What a guy. And he's going to draw an extra card. Watch him be able to play it. What did I tell you? I think I've lost. I would call GG, but it's Arena. Alright, come on. What you got? What you got? Oh, what a lucky bastard.
If I don't draw something useful, I'm just going to concede. <laughs> this really sucks. And... Yeah. GG. GG! He got so lucky with his picks. I think, anyway, in his draft. Like, I don't get knocking any legendaries. But, anyway, guys, that looks like it is it. So, with our four wins, let's see what we get. I don't actually know. I think you get three prizes, I think. Yeah. All right. So packs, a little, little, little bit of dust, and a third of what you need to do another arena run. And uh, let's open up that pack. Let's see what we got in store for us. Well, oh, sweet. So I get a golden imp master. And a Farsight. I don't actually think I have two of those, so that's pretty cool. Let me actually check that out. Ba 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 ba. Come on, where are my new cards? Gold Armani Berserker. I don't know where I got that from. That wasn't from that pack, unless I forget. Golden Blood Knight. I think I just opened up a bunch of packs, but anyway, Golden Knit Master. Okay, and I guess I did have a bunch of those other cards. All right, so anyway, that's going to do it for this arena run. Um, that was kind of sucky that we only got to four. But considering that we started the video, uh, like something like one win or one win, two losses or something like that, I am not. I don't feel too bad. We won a few games. You know, we had some fun. Uh, um, if you guys want to win that Hearthstone, tick or Hearthstone key, uh, I know I said it a lot during the video, but people always get confused. So why not say it again? Um just make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to leave a link in the description of all three of these videos on how to make sure that your subscriptions are visible because I need to tell if you're a subscriber or not. Um, and then just leave a comment. Anything Hearthstone related. Anything that your heart desires. I'm going to put all these videos out sequentially uh, like I'm recording them. So, you know, uh, it should be Tuesday that they're all out. Leave comments on them. Wednesday night, I'm going to pick somebody, make a video, but I'm also going to post it on Reddit as well on who won. Uh, if you guys want to stay subscribed after that, feel free. I post a ton of Hearthstone and Dota 2 content, so and everything, I guess, everything on Steam. Uh, so feel free to stay subscribed if you want. I won't be offended if you don't stay subscribed, though. Um, but I think it's going to do it for me. Make sure you check out NovaGamer.net. It's going to have a ton of content from me in the near future uh, in terms of reviews, videos, things like that. But they also have a ton of content on there. Um, John, Mark, Austin, the rest of the guys put out a lot of great reviews and uh, things like that. So make sure you check out that website, NovaGamer.net. It's fantastic. There's also going to be a link in the description for that. But I think that's going to do it for me. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you later.